He's got the cadence of a fucking, you know, Minnesota wine mom. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Trump would literally have Piers Morgan bouncing on his dick, okay? He's so fucking nice with it, usually. Like, that. those are his best moments. These are the clippable moments that work for Ron Stinky, but he's like, oh man, I don't know. I don't eat pudding. Ha ha, look at me. Okay, let's go through some silly shit like Disney's lawsuit against Governor Ron DeStinky. Ron DeStinky poo poo. Little Ronda. In Florida, between Disney and Republican Governor Ron DeSantis is now headed to court. The company has filed a First Amendment lawsuit against DeSantis, a potential GOP presidential candidate, did so yesterday, alleging he has led, quote, a targeted campaign of government retaliation, close quote, against Disney ever since Disney publicly criticized the state's so called don't say gay bill last March. Manuel Bohorkas has more. Disney's lawsuit was filed just minutes after a board appointed by Governor Ron DeSantis nullified provisions that allowed the company to largely govern the land around Disney World. In its suit, Disney calls the board's decision patently retaliatory, patently anti-business, and patently unconstitutional. DeSantis has called Disney's opposition to the law out of line, and while on a visit to Israel this morning, addressed the suit. They're upset because they're actually having to live by the same rules as everybody else. They don't want to have to pay the same taxes as everybody else, and they want to be able uh, to control uh, things without proper oversight. The feud goes back to March of last. This motherfucker traveled the entire world instead of just going to Epcot. Going to Japan and then Israel while claiming that you're not running for a president is so whack. Someone in this community said Ron Stinky is the Kamala Harris of the Republican Party, and I haven't stopped thinking about that ever since. Last year, when Disney spoke out against the state's parental rights and education law which bans lessons relating to sexual orientation and gender identity in Florida classrooms. The controversial law, which previously only applied to grades K through three, was expanded in recent weeks through the 12th grade. In Florida, gender ideology has no place in our schools. And if that means taking on Disney to make sure that's the case, we will do it. This is a lot about his image and how he's uh, perceived Republican primary voters, um, and they feel like this helps them. GOP political consultant Terry Sullivan doesn't see DeSantis backing down as the governor weighs a potential 2024 presidential campaign. But if he were to want to get to a general election and actually gets there, uh, what does it mean at that point? You know, you cross that bridge when you come to it. Disney is a heavy... Like, look at this. Look, please, please, look. Remember the Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida in Tokyo is a part of the foreign nation trade mission, which is seen as an attempt to increase his diplomatic profile. The fuck are you doing in Tokyo, brother? Get the fuck out of there. Like, what are you doing? DeSantis was asked what he thought about trailing Donald Trump among GOP supporters. I'm not, I'm not a candidate, so we'll see if, uh, if and when that changes. What the like you can be you can be hitting the Ozempic as hard as you want, motherfucker. But when you do that insane like face, like this facial expression is a big no no, man. You don't got a coach for this. Look at this. I'm not I'm not a candidate, so we'll see if uh, if and when that changes. Ah, I'm not a candidate. I'm not running. Okay, here's another one. Here's another one. Here's another Ron stinky moment where like he's just trying to be animated but failing to be animated. You know what I mean? It's just because I've noticed a very slim down. <laughs> Ron DeSantis, you've lost a lot of weight recently. Well, we're you know at the end of the day, it's like uh, New Year's resolution, just get back in the swing of things. I have I mean, the same thing. I'm a vet, I'm a uh, athlete and a, and a military veteran, and so as governor, you can get caught up in a lot of other stuff. How much have you lost? I don't know. I mean, I don't I don't weigh or anything like that. Make quite a lot. I mean, I'm on, I'm on I'm on a good regimen, and we're, we'll keep it going. And uh, apparently, no carbs and no dessert. So ba I think the sugar is the biggest uh, mm. issue because, like, basically, if you do sugar, your body burns sugar. If you don't, it burns fat. And so if you're working out and just eating halfway decent. Yeah, dude, he's talking keto, which is so funny. He's like, yeah, man, I'm doing keto. <laughs> I'm doing keto, Piers. It's working wonders for me. I'm doing yeah, exactly do the it. same thing, by the way, since Christmas. Okay. So we're all missed together. There you go. You're probably doing a bit better than me. <laughs> but I, I was asking about your fingers because of this, I mean, scandal, which broke last week. Scandal. That you apparently were eating 
chocolate pudding with three fingers. Now, where did, was that it's, anonymous sources or something? It was a very serious allegation. <laughs> he's so weaselly, dude. Oh, my God. He's such a little weasel. He's like, ah, is that anonymous sources, peers? I congratulated the journalist who broke it on the new water game. Look at that face! <laughs> but I have to put it to you, Governor. Have you ever eaten a chocolate pudding with three fingers? I don't remember ever doing that. <laughs> I'm telling you, maybe when I was a kid, but it's interesting. You know, there's a lot of people when you're when they go at you, sometimes they have like really good ammunition. Like you're a crook, you did this, you did that. For me, they're talking about pudding. Like, is that really the best you got? Okay, bring it on. But now you're not having puddings. No, no, no pudding. They're done. No way. It's sugar, man. You can't you can't these, be doing the these puddings. These two things with sugar. are not linked to I don't know. Way. maybe there's sugar free pudding. I gotta look <laughs> into that and try to figure out uh, how we go from there. That's so sick. Like, Donald Trump would have been making Piers Morgan do fucking backflips on his dick. Donald Trump is a sassy bitch, and that comes across so well in conversations like this, especially when you try to catch him on a back foot. You know what I mean? Piers lightly jabs at the stinky, and he's like, aha, uh -huh, what? Is there? Is it sugar, man? I mean, what? Is there sugar-free pudding? Maybe I should look into that. He's got the cadence of a fucking, you know, Minnesota wine mom. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Trump would literally have Piers Morgan bouncing on his dick, okay? He's so fucking nice with it, usually. Like, that. those are his best moments. These are the clippable moments that work for Ron Stinky, but he's like, oh man, I don't know. I don't eat pudding. Ha -ha, look at me. I'm losing so much weight, man. <laughs> Pierce Morgan wouldn't dare call Trump fat or overweight. Yeah, Trump would fucking clap back and be like, what do you mean? You're looking way worse than me, Pierce. I wouldn't be talking like that. Plus you're British. <laughs> anyway, yeah, like I said, Riz is unspoken. Some people have it. Some people don't. And the Santas clearly doesn't have it. Donald Trump, on the other hand, for better or for worse, does have it. You know what I mean? He does. He has it. You know who else has it? Kaya. Kaya has the charisma. Look at this. She can captivate 30,000 people by sleeping, by bundling up and just, you know, falling asleep on her various little toys. Anyway, um, let's get back to this fucking Disney thing, though. Economic hitter in Florida. It's the largest taxpayer in the state, employs more than 75,000 people there, and is a major driver of tourism. The company projects it will draw around 50 million visitors to Florida this year. In comments at Disney's shareholder meeting earlier this month, CEO Bob Iger appeared to foreshadow the lawsuit. A company has a right to freedom of speech just like individuals do. The governor got very angry about the position Disney took and seems like he's decided to retaliate against us. I think there is something there to Disney's argument. CBS News legal contributor Jessica Levinson acknowledged DeSantis' claim that his administration is simply treating Disney as all other businesses in the state are treated. But she added this. It seemed like everything was fine in terms of how Disney was being treated until they started criticizing the government. That's where you get that freedom of speech claim. For CBS Mornings, I'm Manuel Bohorquez. I'm not I'm not a candidate so we'll see if uh, if and when that changes. 